Hey there everyone, welcome to another Jeff the IT Guy video. Today we are going to upgrade the HP Omen 15. This is the Ryzen 7 4800H. Um, this one comes with 8 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig NVMe SSD. We are going to be installing a one terabyte um, NVMe SD from Crucial along with it, as well as 32 gigs of G-Skill 3200 megahertz uh, sodium RAM. These will be linked below so that you can go and purchase them as well. Um, and we're going to be using our handy dandy iFixit toolkit, which will also be linked below. So let's go ahead and get started on this bad boy. So you're going to need to uh, unplug it. Make sure you unplug it. You don't want to leave it plugged in. That would be bad. So don't do that. And there's screws all around the bottom. So let's go ahead and take those out. Um, the HP Omen is user serviceable uh, for RAM and um, the drive. So I did look that up and HP did say that uh, in one of their posts that it was user serviceable. So go ahead and just unscrew these. Should be fairly simple for you. Okay, so you've got four screws along the front and four on the back to take off the bottom. And I'm going to separate those because the back ones are longer. Okay, now that the back screws are out, we will take off the bottom. Should just lift up. You can grab it back here. It'll lift up, pop up, like so. Just be gentle with it. There is plastic clips that hold it on, so you don't want to uh, don't want to force it. That will break those clips. You don't want to do that. So just be easy with it. You can also uh, with your iFixit kit if you purchase one. Um, they have a spudger in them and you can use it. It looks like a guitar pick. Um, there's also these tools here that you can run along the side. It's made out of plastic and it's just to kind of help raise it up so that you don't damage those clips. Just be careful. There we go. Okay. Bottom is off. And here it is. Here is uh, what it looks like. Boom, boom. In the back, you can see we got two NVMe here. Here's our sodium, and here is our Wi Fi. This is, um, you know, our cooling. So, the first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure that we uh, undo the battery. All right, you should remove the battery for this. However, mine does not want to move, so I'm not going to force it. But here's your sodiums right here. Um, you also want to make sure that your laptop is off when, before you do this. So, this is what comes in it. It's, uh, you know, 3200 megahertz, two four gig DIMMs. We're going to be putting in these two here. These nice rip jaws, G skill. And they just go in like this, put them in at a slight angle. It's about a 45 degree angle, push them in and it clicks. Do that on both sides. Like so. Make sure they go in. Okay. There we go, it'll click, boom. There's 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz uh, RAM. So now what we need to do is we need to add the extra SSD. Um, on this one, the main NVMe SSD is right here. The other one is over here on the 
be my right side. So you just remove this screw right here. Okay. Lift up. And it will reveal the M.2 slot. So go ahead and open up your M.2 drive. Put it in like so. Okay. And then on the back of this, it's got some, it's got, it's a heat sink. So you can remove this. Um, it won't work unless you remove it on here. So I'm not going to do that. But if you want to remove the sticker on this, you can remove it and get a little bit of heat sink action. However, this won't, it's not a very high performance drive, uh, so it shouldn't be getting too warm. So it's lined it up like so. On there. And then put your screw in. Okay. Tighten it up. You don't want to over tighten it, just make sure it's tight enough. This one here does not want to click into place like it does over here. That's fine. But it's covered, it's installed. Next thing you need to do, go ahead and put on your bottom panel. Okay, just push it into place. Uh, be gentle with it. You don't want to be a mad maniac with it. It just snaps in. Be gentle. You don't want to snap everything. It will snap, crackle, and pop um, whenever you push it in, and that's fine. Then go ahead and replace the screws. I'm going to start with the back. Be sure to push them in. You don't want to over tighten. Okay. Remember, the longer screws are for the, the back, um, which would be by the heat fan array, the heat sink array. All right. Now that all the screws are in, you're going to want to turn it over and make sure that it works. So go ahead, turn it over. Hit the power button, power's on. All right, so as you can see, it's powered on. Go ahead, uh, type in your password and we'll cover it up. Okay, and then there you go. So now we're in here, 32 uh, gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and make sure it shows up. So go to, it's just kind of hard to read from the side. <laughs> Good system. I said it's hard to read from the side. And then there we go, we've got 32 gigs showing up here. Uh, what you need to do to be able to use your newfound NVMe that you put in is go down to the search bar and you can just type in uh, disk. And you'll see one that shows up as uh, create and format hard disk partitions. So you'll get this, just hit OK, and then right click on it, do new simple volume, hit next, 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 finish. It'll format. Okay, and then there you go. Now you've got 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of NVMe, NVMe extra storage on here. So it's really simple to upgrade. Um, also, while you're doing this, you can also wear an ESD uh, strap that comes with the uh, iFixit kit. 
So thanks for watching. This has been the upgrade. Everything works. Um, make sure if you have not yet, go ahead and subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of cool stuff on the channel. And then we're going to be doing a full review of this right here. Uh, and you'll see why we went with the extra one terabyte of space and the 32 gigs of RAM. This thing is a powerhouse. Um, but you'll see that in the full review. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe and put on notifications so that you do not miss that. You're not going to want to miss the review on this awesome laptop. Um, we're close to the subscriber goal, so go ahead and just smash that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later.